Hey, and welcome to another episode of the Almost World Famous Cactus Atlas. On today's episode, I'm going to be exploring a probably a pretty well-known road within this park known as White Domes Road. It begins at the visitor center and ends at the White Domes, aptly named, um, and it goes through one of the most picturesque sections of the park, and it has many little pull-offs to get different views and perspectives. So, I thought it worthy of doing one episode just devoted to that alone. So if you want to join me and find out what it's like, let's go discover together. So I will admit something to you. This is my first day ever in this park. First time ever. Still getting acquainted with it. But I did already drive the length of the White Domes Road and fell in love with it immediately and knew that I had to do an episode on this. Possibly my favorite part of the White Domes Road experience is coming up this road from the visitor center, coming around this corner, seeing that road go up and down. Make sure to take advantage of the pull-offs that you'll see. They're very evenly spaced out. I think they're here for a reason. Um, so I'm gonna stop at each one and take in the views because they're all amazing. So they're not on the map anywhere, but if you go slow, which you should anyway to enjoy the view, you'll see these pull-offs, and they have them on each side of the road. And what you'll see here are some really cool rock formations. I see an arch up there. You do get some nice soft sunlight reflecting off the top too, and another nice view of this road with some nice golden sunlight in the background. Very picturesque. So the moral of the story is, if you see a pull-off here in this park, it probably means there's something worth seeing. And now I'm at the fourth stop, which is just feet up the road from the third one, but uh, some really nice late afternoon lighting, I'd say, too. Well, no, late afternoon isn't too bad here at the park so far. Definitely see a decrease in people. So I'm assuming there's a lot of day trippers from Las Vegas that come here and don't necessarily stay. You also get some pretty decent sun on some of those off in the distance. Yeah, I love a lot of these formations that you see here on this road. It's just, you know, everything's so smooth and just kind of flows. It just makes your mind relax. So that's the direction we just came from. And we then drove down the road and we got to something called Parking Lot One. You really get a nice view of the road over there, kind of cutting through the desert. And from what I can tell, I see lots of footprints going this way. So um, I think you are totally free to roam around back here. I mean, it goes pretty far back. Look at this stuff here, this is weird. I thought at first it was a tarp, kind of wrinkled up, but it's actually rock. digging this area off of parking lot number one. It's really cool. There's really awesome photograph moments back here to be had. Yeah, this is doing it right. I think my mind likes all the patterns 
the intricate lines carved into the stones and the way they just flow like boats almost. Parking lot number one, that's all it's known by. Should you stop? I would say so. So I'm at parking lot number two, or P2. Looking back the way I came, you can kind of see out there that river of rocks, or whatever I called it back there. That field of just those round rocks, that's where we were. And across the street here, you could see a gentleman up on the top of the rocks over there. And there is a little trail I see over on that side, so maybe we'll actually go take a peek down there and see what there is to see. So as you can see, it's a very well-worn trail. Um, that's usually a clue in this park is look for the footprints because they usually lead you somewhere pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Huh, that's pretty cool. I can just easily climb up this slant here. Huh. And see, look at that view. Look at that view. I love the way there are so many places here that you can climb up to very easily and have these really nice rock structures in the foreground framing beautiful backdrops. So, parking lot two is definitely worth a quick stop if you can spare a little bit of time. Even if you don't plan on stopping at any of the stops off of White Domes Road, um, I would highly recommend at least just drive down the length of it one time. So this spot off to the left up here should be the Fire Wave parking lot. And it looks pretty crowded and Fire Wave may be the premier site here at the park, according to a lot of people. Um, but I'm gonna pull off here across from it because I see something else that I wanna take a look at, which is another fantastic view. So once again, that's the Fire Wave parking lot, parking lot three. And I'm gonna turn around the opposite way away from Fire Wave and walk over here. So yeah, that little pull off on the other side of the Fire Wave parking lot, I would say especially for that view off that way, this time of day, the way the sunlight is and shadows are working on those rocks over there. Yeah, I would say this is a definitely a good spot because it has a lot of watching sunset potential too. Well, I've come to the end of the road. I am at the White Domes Trailhead where the scenic route ends. All right, we made it to the end of the road, so I figured this is an appropriate place to give you my final thoughts. So driving down White Domes Road. I've done it twice now in one day, my very first day here at the park. So I'd say that drive is now gonna be cemented as a tradition anytime I come to this park. I would recommend for you to do it, just the drive alone. Ignore all of the main stops you can do, do those later. Get one drive down the road all the way to the end, um, and then maybe hit the stops or something, but it is wonderful. Um, this time of day, late afternoon, has proven to be pretty great for that. So if you can be here late afternoon, maybe take that into, into mind. I mean, I think that's all I gotta really say, right? I don't really have to say much more than that. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel, and if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell to stay informed anytime we release new videos, which we're doing all of the time. And you can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little drive with me today. I look forward to the next time we hang out. And until then, take it easy.
Yeah, right on, right on.